Hi everyone, my name is Aiden Robbins. I'm a filmmaker and YouTuber, and I'm super excited today to be sharing these next five videos with you and Adobe and showing you how I turned these six clips on my timeline here into something much more exciting and sharing with you a bunch of different Premiere Pro techniques along the way. In this first video, I'll be showing you how I use the motion properties in Premiere Pro to add some more camera motion into my clips in post and make them appear much more dynamic. The motion properties of a clip can be found in the effect controls panel under this motion dropdown. There you'll see a bunch of keyframeable properties for the position, scale, rotation, and anchor point all of which can be used to add some additional motion in post. Let's use this first clip on the timeline as an example of keyframing the scale to create a digital push in. So I'm simply going to start at the very beginning of the clip and set a keyframe for my scale at 100%. Then I'm just going to move to the very end of the clip and increase my scale, say to 120%. Then if we go back to that first frame and play through, you can see we've added this digital push in. It looks really nice and complements the already existing camera motion of the clip. Next up, let's use this drone shot as an example of creating a digital tilt motion. So if I zoom out, you'll see that I'm using a 16 by 9 clip in a widescreen composition. So I have a lot of extra information in this clip that's outside the borders of the sequence, and we can use this to our advantage. Once again, I'm going to start at the very beginning of the clip, set a keyframe for my position, and then move the clip down so that we see more of the bottom of the clip. Then I'm going to go to the very end of the clip and move the position once again so that we see more of the top of the clip. And if I go back to the start and play through here, you can see we've added this completely digital motion where the camera appears to tilt up. This is an effect I use all the time because if you're using a 16 by nine clip in a wider sequence, then you can do this without losing any information by punching in. And finally, let's use this last drone shot as an example of keyframing the rotation of a clip. So this is going to sound very familiar. I'm going to start at the very beginning of the clip, set a keyframe for my rotation and rotate it in one direction. Let's say maybe two degrees to the right. Then I'm going to move to the very end of the clip and move it in the opposite direction. Let's say maybe negative three degrees. If we play through this, you'll see that the effect looks all right. It's a nice rotating effect, but you can see when you adjust the rotation, the edges of the clip will begin to appear. But that's a very simple fix. We just need to increase the scale and you can see that we are now hiding those edges and have a very nice effect. You can also use what's called keyframe interpolation to fine tune these animations anymore. So let's return to our first clip where we animated the scale. And all I'm going to do here is right click my first keyframe and select ease out, and then right click my last keyframe and select ease in. You'll notice if we play through the clip now, the rate at which the scale pushes in is fastest towards the middle of the clip. So it starts out completely normal, pushes in right in the middle, and then slows back down. You'll notice there's this little arrow next to the scale keyframe. And if we press that, then we have even more options for fine tuning the animation, particularly these handles next to our keyframes. And as we drag these, you'll see that curve, which represents the velocity of the motion becomes more dramatic. So if I drag these, very close together, you'll notice we start out with no motion and then it's very fast towards the center. And there you have it, some simple ways to make your clips more dynamic in post. And in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how to color grade your clips using one-click color matching and applying LUTs in Lumetri Color.